and we got out into a different part of the ranch and it didn't take us long to spot a big herd of antelope with a nice buck in it. We were losing a little bit of light. The sun was going down. It was late afternoon. And there was, there was such a big group of antelope with this big buck that was in it. Uh, they were down in a, in a little swell. And we felt like we could come around to the, to the south side and really just wait them out. It didn't take very long for the does to start filtering up over this ridge and this big antelope skylights just right on top of the ridge and he was definitely the dominant buck of that herd. All right, Matt, you see him up there? There's yeah. a whole pile of them. I think he's, uh, he's at the far back right now. Yeah, I got him. I'm just trying to wait till he yeah. clears some of these does. I think he, he's trying to herd them back to the right. He should yeah. come around to the left any minute, kind of clear them there, I think. I could never get a clean shot at him. He was just moving around to kind of corner his harem and keep them all right there together. All right, if he clears right now, I can get a shot at him. Okay, I think he's about to clear. Go ahead, whenever you got the shot, all take right. it. And I waited till I got a good broadside shot. Again, I understand now what Ed was going through that morning. The wind really was playing a factor that day, and. It's really tough, even though I had the sticks, to, to get a really good, steady rest. But he finally presented me a shot. Nice shot. Down the antelope went, and uh, which, which I was extremely happy uh, to have Ed over my shoulder and to get the congratulations and confirmation from him was uh, as important as anything to me. But first shot with the Weatherby 257 and I got uh, my first Wyoming antelope. He's got some time length. Oh, he's an old sucker too. He's got a prong busted really off. Really tall, gnarly. Yeah, but he's got good mass and he's, he's long. He's got great length. I'm sure he's definitely the, the herd buck, pushing them does all over the place, running them little bucks off. It's, it's so windy. I feel your pain from earlier today. I mean, this wind is whipping 25, 30 miles an hour, but my new Weatherby 257 given to me by Mr. Ed Weatherby himself, I appreciate that. I'm glad it was put it, to good use it, the first it day. It sure was. I mean, awesome. it put him down for a great day in Wyoming. This is definitely the longest time buck I've ever killed, so I'm tickled to death. Once again, Hey, I appreciate it. Day two, we get back out. Mr. Ed Weatherby and his family, we got Adam and Adam's son Connor and Daniel over here, and they both actually have antelope tags left to fill. Ed talked about his father bringing him out here, and he shot his first antelope in Wyoming. So it was a special place for him to bring his sons and grandson for a hunt. Two more years, Connor's 12. He's gonna come out and get something, yeah. Getting the youth involved and making sure what we all got to do as kids growing up hunting, that the next generation gets to do that. And that's why Weatherby supports the NRA and Friends of NRA program so much. Adam had never killed an antelope. He was point man as a first shooter. They get up on this herd, do a nice stalk. Antelope hit the deck, and Adam passes the sticks over to Dan. Now it's Dan's turn. 